Yulon True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. And today I want to talk about one of the two new officers that came with the new ARC Enterprise Part 1. But before we talk about Trip Tucker, I just want to say if you're not a subscriber of my channel yet, but do like my videos, then please do subscribe to my channel. And if you do, then please click this little bell and the um, all notifications so that you will be informed when another video is out. But now let's have a look at Trip. If you've seen Star Trek Enterprise, you will know that he's the chief engineer of the Enterprise in most of the episodes. In one of them, in one of my favorite, um, he even is captain of the Enterprise. Of course, at this part, so uh, quickly after starting the new arc, I don't have Trip, but that's not a problem uh, about talking about him. He's an epic officer, and um, that means something for the traits. I can't see here, but I know what they are, so I will talk about this. But um, first, let's have a look. He's class engineering, as I said, as the chief engineer of the Enterprise he should be. He's from the group Enterprise NX-01 and faction, of course, Federation. Although, besides the last episode, he wasn't even part of the Federation, but that's another topic <laughs> if you know the series, the series Enterprise. And I know that some people haven't seen it that are playing this game, mm -hmm. plays before the founding of the Federation. And uh, so they are members of Starfleet, but only Earth's Starfleet. And uh, so that's why the Faction Federation is here a little bit funny. But later on, um, they they do found the Federation in the last episode where Riker and Troy appear um, with the with the holodeck program. You see uh, the the start of the Federation. So um, in the end, that fits. He does not have a captain's ability, and. That is unfortunate because at least once in the series he was a captain. But he does have an officer ability and a below deck ability. The officer ability is things blow up. That means when you take damage from a hostile or another player, Trip Tucker decreases your opponent's critical damage by 50% for two rounds. And this ability can stack. But it does not trigger at armadas or assaults. And weapons with multiple shots will only trigger this ability once per attack. And that's what I already said in my preview video. When I have trip at some point, I will definitely have to make some PvP tests. If, like with the lower decks or deck officers that, that later came at the second time when lower deck came up here in the game, if they will move around the PvP crews again. Because this is an ability that might really be able to do so. So, um, but that is a PvP video. I, I still thought I can make a video on Trip before um, because that will anyway be another PvP crew video if he does. But it's definitely a PvP ability that I will try. And his lower deck ability is Hand in the Cookie Jar. He increases the amount of resources you get from destroying Herogen and Species 8472 hostiles by 30%. And the number is green, so that will rise while Trip is uh, leveled up and tiered up. And so I'm looking forward to how that will work. Because when I go to um, hunt Species 8472, I, of course, use Neelix to reduce the costs. But I will, when I get Trip in the future, definitely also um, put Trip then below deck next to the Doctor. And so I will get more loot from species 8472 so that can be can come in quite handy about the traits um you don't see them here because i don't have them but that, that doesn't matter he's an epic officer that means he will have three different traits that you will have to unlock you know the the uncommon ones have one the uh, rare ones have two and the epic ones have three so um trip will also have uh, three in the end as an epic officer and uh, I will see how helpful that would be but um, depending on his ability for in the PvP crew and uh, of course with his lower deck ability 
I don't think that I will use him very often for away teams. I will definitely use him more often on my ships, at least on the Voyager, which is fun. That uh, Enterprise NX-01 officer is really good for the Voyager. That's uh, about 200 years later. But uh, yeah, I, I think uh, that trip could be quite a good addition. I was... Um, Still wondering why they didn't start with Jonathan Archer, but I, I think in lower decks, uh, Freeman also came later than others. And so um, that might be a Scopely hab habit. But there's a lot of speculation what will come next. And um, I think in the, I don't know how many parts of Enterprise they will do, they didn't tell. But um, I can imagine that in the next um, arc, then Enterprise Part 2, there will be Jonathan Archer and... Um, from, from the fun part of the officers, maybe with flocks. And then, of course, we, we still have Malcolm Reed, we have uh, Hoshi Sato, we have Anson Mayweather uh, that can be added that are the most core characters of the ship. And, uh, well, even Ambassador Soval can, can be part of it. So you never know with Scopely. But um, it will be interesting to see what the next officers will bring and uh, what abilities they will bring. But I definitely wanted to give you a quick introduction to the new officers. As I said, from trip, I'm quite far away at the moment. I will see in the first MET event on Saturday um, how much closer I can get with spending materials. Um, and if I manage this time, I'm still working on some other officers, as you could see. Um, I still don't have Troy and... Uh, I still don't have uh, uh, Pick Admiral Picard and Dr. Tana they, and P uh, Pick Riker. They were from other arcs, and so sometimes it's easy to get them, sometimes it's harder, and we will see. But I'm getting closer to Troy and to uh, Pick Admiral Picard at least. And I already have 18 or 38 to pull. The Trip Tucker shards you only can get at the moment um, in the events of the Battle Pass. First of all, the Battle Pass itself. There are some Trip Tucker shards in the um, free version and there are also some Trip Tucker shards in the elite version. And as I said, there hopefully will there's supposed to be uh, material events and I hope that Trip Tucker is in there as well. Um, I didn't read it that carefully. To be honest, you know, if you don't know where to find all the information uh, about this battle pass, by the way, it's uh, always in here with all the events coming. That's why I know there is a material event coming up with um, Officer Shards. I don't know if I overread it because I didn't pay attention of the yellow. I paid attention of the blue. That's Armada stuff. Oh, come on. I read it that there's uh, material stuff. This is Borg stuff, the ticketed events. Yeah, it's always when I wanted to when I want to show you something. I miss what I read before, but uh, oh here there's recruit trip. Tucker is coming up on on Saturday, so um, that's where I will try to get more trip Tucker shards, and in the end I will see if I can manage. The last time with Riker, it worked via the material spending. Um, it's a level 20 to 70 solo milestone, so I will see how that will work. Um, but uh, I hope there are some more chances to also get to Paul shards. But as I said, I only wanted to give you a quick introduction into this officer. And of course, I also make it to Paul video um, this week so that you can have a look. Um, tonight, there will not be a 5 p.m. UTC video because today is Friday and that means at 8 p.m. UTC there will be another live stream and I hope I'll see a lot of you for my live stream then there we will definitely talk a little bit more about this new arc and if you want to see another video right now the next one is right here in the end screen I'll see you there I'll be back <laughs>